Today we are going to see the latest news from the Kansas City Chiefs. My name is Richard. I ask that you subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell, so YouTube will always recommend our videos to you. Let's go to the news. Former Kansas City Chiefs playmaker Marquez Valdez-Scantling could go from catching passes from Patrick Mahomes to the top of Justin Herbert's target hierarchy this season. According to a report from ESPN's Jeremy Fowler, the Los Angeles Chargers are in the mix for Valdez-Scantling. The Chargers, I'm told, have some interest, Fowler stated during a recent episode of NFL Live, regarding MVS, adding, they're looking for a speed receiver out there. Valdez Scantling was released by the Chiefs on February 28th, as part of the Chiefs' wholesale makeover of one of the league's more disappointing receiving core during the 2023 season. The 29-year-old caught 21 passes for 315 yards and one touchdown last season. While the Chiefs have arguably upgraded the receiving core, already, by signing Marquis, Hollywood, Brown and free agency, the Los Angeles Chargers are a dearth of proven playmakers as the NFL draft looms. While Jim Harbaugh and a run-based offense might be the best thing to happen for Herbert, the Chargers have done their prolific quarterback no favors this offseason. After trading Keenan Allen to the Chicago Bears and losing veteran playmaker Mike Williams to the New York Jets during free agency, the cupboard at wide receiver is rather bare for Herbert. Joshua Palmer, who caught just 38 passes for 581 yards and two touchdowns along with emerging young weapon Quentin Johnston, who pulled down 38 catches for 431 yards and two scores, are currently Los Angeles' top two receivers. Both offer promise, but neither is a proven commodity. Signing Valdez Scantling would provide some veteran stability. After all, the six-year veteran has caught 186 passes for 3,155 yards and 16 touchdowns with a career 17 yards per reception average. Valdez Scantling could be an ideal deep threat for Herbert and the Chargers. But, even if Los Angeles winds up signing the veteran, the organization would be wise to also select the top wide receiver available on the board when the Chargers go on the clock with the number 5 overall pick in the NFL Draft. Write in the comments your opinion about Marquez Valdez-Scantling. Remembering that your comment is very important for our channel and for the Chiefs.